I've always enjoyed playing with magnets, different sizes and strengths. In fact, I've never met anyone who doesn't. But I wondered if they have anything to teach us about God and how we follow him. When you hold a magnet near iron filings, they start to dance around and follow the end of the magnet as you move it. The patterns are cool and interesting. If you put the magnet onto the iron filings, they start to show you the pattern of the magnetic field around it. You probably learnt at school the shape of the field that goes with the North and South Poles. And it is a bit like that with God. His strength and help spreads through the world even though we can't see it. A magnet has a North and South Pole, which can repel and attract each other. I love it when they move apart without touching. And we can be a bit like that when we don't want to follow God. We can turn away from him. But all we have to do is turn the magnet around and they attract. And it's the same with God. When we turn to him, he takes us with him where he leads. There are also lots of other fun things to do with magnets. We can make them move around without touching, spin and dance around. And in the same way, following God can lead us into all sorts of amazing adventures with him. You can even make it look like your hand is a magnet. But that's because I hit a stronger one in my hand. We can make a needle magnetic by rubbing it with a magnet. And then float it on water using a piece of kitchen paper. The magnet can make the needle move from a long way away. When we follow God, his help can keep us following him wherever we are. Then we can also make the magnet much stronger by adding extra strong magnets to the end. And the best thing about following God is that he gives us his Holy Spirit who helps us follow him all the more strongly.